Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to explain specialization electrical part 3. Specialization electrical part 3. Electrical part 3. They are nothing but relays. First topic is relays. What is a relay? Relay. What is a relay? Relay is a protective device which sends the fault. It is a protective device which sends the fault and given and uh, given information to the circuit breaker, which isolates the system, which isolates the equipment. Okay. Nothing but Relay is a relay is a protective device which sends the fault and given information to the circuit breaker which will operate. Okay, they are nothing but relays are like uh, watch dogs. Relays are like watch dogs. When they are uh, when there is a fault occurs, these watch dogs that is nothing but relays these these watch dogs barging. Uh, then the circuit breaker. Then the circuit breaker wakes up and will perform the operation. Okay. Likewise, uh, whenever a thief uh, came into the house, the watchdogs will bargain. Then the owner of the house will wake up. Will wake up and uh, he will operate. Okay. Likewise, whenever a fault occurs in a power system, the relays sends the signal and given information to the circuit breaker. Then the circuit breaker will perform the operation or will isolate the power system. Okay. These are nothing but relays. In this relays, main important is plug plug setting multiplier. It is very very important for problem. Plug setting multiplier. What is plug setting multiplier? PSM equal to fault current. Fault current that is nothing but IF. Fault current referred to the secondary side of the current transformer secondary side of the CT by pickup current fault current referred to the secondary side of CT by pickup current here pickup current equal to relay setting into rated ROC current pickup current equal to rated setting relay setting into rated ROC current for example in a given problem here he has given fault current IF equal to 2000 amps relay setting is 50% then the CT ratio is 400 by 5. That means here 400 is primary, 5 is secondary. Okay, 400 amps, 5 amps. Then what is PSM? Here we know that PSM equal to fault current referred to secondary. That means fault current referred to secondary means here 400 is primary, 5 is secondary. So referred to secondary means 5 by 400, 5 by 400 divided by Pickup current. Pickup current means relay setting. Relay setting at 50% means 0 0.5 into rated ROC current. Rated current means secondary current. Rated current means secondary current. That is nothing but 5. By simplifying this, you can get the 10 as plug setting multiplier. Here plug setting multiplier is greater than 1, the relay will operate. PSM is greater than 1, relay will operate. If PSM is less than 1, relay is not operate. If PSM is 1, then relay is at verge of operation. Verge of operation means it is in dilemma. Uh, operate or not operate. Okay. It is in dilemma. Next one. The relays are, the types of relays, the relays are number of times. Number of types. Number of types of relays are present in uh, electrical power system. But main important uh, relays are nothing but distance relays. Distance relays. Distance relays are very very important for uh, bits. Okay. These distance relays are used to protection of transmission lines. These distance relays are used to protection of transmission lines. The universal torque equation T equal to K1 I square plus K2 V square plus K3 V into I cos of theta minus tau plus k constant okay this formula is no need to learn okay for easy and uh, 
computer science students there is no need to learn this formula just to remember it okay for in case of uh, impedance relay the torque equation is k1 i square minus k2 v square k1 i square minus k2 v square here minus sign means restraining force restraining force here it is operating force so that's why the impedance relay equation k1 i square minus k2 v square means it is a voltage here it is a voltage voltage restraining voltage restrained here it is a current operating force is current so it is a voltage restrained over current relay so it is voltage restrained over current relay very 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 important so impedance relay is voltage restrained over current relay it is non directional relay it is operate both 1 and 3 1 and 3 quadrants so it is uh, non directional relay it is used for medium transmission line very very important it is uh, used for medium transmission line impedance relay is used for medium transmission line okay each every line is very very important for bits okay reactance relays for this reactance relays for these reactance relays torque equal to k1 i square minus k3 vi cos of theta minus tau here it is a restraining restraining force it is operating force that means restraining force is nothing but directional part this directional part so it is called as directional restraint and over current relay directional restraint over current relay okay directional restraint over current relay it is also non directional relay it is also operates both 1 and 3 quadrants so it is a non directional relay it is used for short transmission lines reactance relays are used for short transmission line and it uh, reactance relays are also used for protection against earth falls very very important protection against earth falls which type of relay is used this is nothing but uh, reactance relay okay more relay more relay the torque equation is likewise here for more relay torque equation it is a vo voltage restrained negative signs for uh, voltage that means it is restrained force it is operating force so more relay is called as voltage restrained directional relay voltage restrained directional relay so this is called as a directional relay very very important the uh, more relay is a directional relay it is used for long transmission line it is used for long transmission line once again the reactant once again impedance first of all impedance relay impedance relay used for medium transmission line reactance uh, relay is used for short transmission line more relay is used for long transmission line we can simplify this uh, for remembering it is uh, uh, rim like rim it is for reactance reactance relay for short impedance relay for medium transmission line more relay for long transmission line we can remember likewise rim reactance impedance more relay okay for reactance short impedance medium more relay for long transmission line okay and more relay first two relays are non directional this is directional okay next topic generator protection or nothing but alternator protection okay to protect face to face and face to ground faults face to face and face to ground faults percentage differential or biased percentage differential protection is used in case of alternator to protect face to face and face to ground faults percentage differential or biased differential protection is used this is also called as uh, merge price protection 
also called as midge price protection it is also called as midge price protection in case of stator overheating in case of generator there is two parts one is uh, stator and another is rotor one is stator another is rotor okay the stator overheating thermal relays are used for stator overheating to protect the stator overheating thermal relays are used for loss of excitation the relays did not isolate the system but it senses the signal to the circuit breaker okay remember it for loss of excitation that is nothing but field current equal to zero then for this uh, identification more relay is used more relay is used Uh, that means loss of excitation means if field current is zero then the generator will act as a motor generator will act as a motor that means the power flow is reverse direction the power flow is in reverse direction that means direction is reverse that's why for loss of excitation uh, for direction direction which is a direction relay more relay so more relay is used rotor earth fault for rotor earth fault reactance relay is used i already explained reactance relays are used mainly for earth faults mainly for ag ag protection against earth faults rotor overheating for rotor overheating negative sequence relay is used negative sequence relay is used okay in case of stator overheating thermal relay rotor overheating negative sequence relay is used okay next topic next one prime mover failure falls prime mover failure falls if prime mover fails prime mover fails means nothing but input yeah, input of the generator if prime mover uh, fails alternator act as a motor act as a motor for this also direction changes that means so power direction changes from uh, it is uh, uh, equ uh, more uh, or prime mover fails alternator act as a motor that means the direction will changes so for this directional relay or reverse power relay is used directional relay or reverse power relay is used next to transformer protection in the in case of transformer mainly winding faults for winding faults nothing but face to face and face to ground here also for face to face and face to ground faults percentage bias differential protection is used percentage bias differential protection is used or nothing but this is called medzu price protection medzu price protection faults in secondary equipment that is nothing but insulation for insulation faults or reduction in oil faults or interton faults for these type of faults butchlas relay is used very very important in case of transformer or uh, if the uh, the oil is reduction to find out the oil in reduction dash relay is used butchlas relay for interton faults dash type of relay is used butchlas relay okay very very important relay used for differential protection is second harmonic restraint relay relay used for differential protection is second harmonic restraint relay okay next differential protection for three phase power transformer in case of three phase power transformer it is a three phase power transformer the types of this uh, three phase power, power transformer is primary winding it is secondary winding delta 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 star star delta star star for uh, protection now of uh, three phase power systems the secondary are connected likewise the secondary are connected uh, likewise for delta it is uh, for delta we have to connect star for star we have to connect delta so for delta delta we have to connect secondary uh, cities secondary that means uh, protection system cities okay protection system cities connected likewise delta for delta delta star to star delta star star delta star delta delta star 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 delta delta that means opposite opposite way we have to connect for protecting transformers okay in case of overload faults in case of overload faults in transformer thermal relay is used 
overload false thermal relay is used okay next one protection of feeders protection of feeders first of all what is a feeder means feeder is nothing but feeder is a uh, feeder is a di distribution line that means primary distribution line which has constant current which has constant current which has constant current and that means it does not have any tappings if it does not have any tappings okay if there are in, if there are tappings the current will divides so there is no constant no constant constant of current okay for protection of feeders for protection of feeders non directional relay at source side non directional relay at source side direction relay at load sides if it is a source it is a load here the for source side non directional relay for load side directional relays are used okay to protect the feeders feeder feeder is a line with constant current carrying capacity constant current carrying capacity or that means it does not it does not contains any tappings okay that is called as feeder next to protection of bus bars protection of bus bars also uh, that means bus bars means uh, if uh, the output of all the generators is connected to a single bar a single bar that is called bus bars all the faces that that means r y b faces and uh, these are connected all the output of uh, generator connect or uh, generators connected to a single bar that is called bus bars for this bus bar protection also differential protection scheme is used differential protection system is used that means differential protection system means if there is any difference between the uh, faces then the relay will operate the relay will operate okay then the relay will operate next lightning lightning and lightning arresters what is a lightning a high voltage discharge from charged cloud high voltage discharge from charged cloud to the ground is called lightning due to uh, to the ground is called lightning due to this lightning thousands of uh, thousands of current flows flows from cloud to earth that is due to these uh, over voltages uh, the systems may be damaged okay types of lightning strokes there are uh, two types of uh, lightning strokes the, they are uh, direct strokes and indirect strokes these direct strokes may cause a voltage these direct strokes may cause a voltage as high as 10 million volts as high as 10 million volts this means uh, this high amount of voltage it may even shatter the total transmission system even shatter the total transmission system to overcome this protection um, there are two types two types are used mainly lightning arrester or surge arresters are nothing but horn gaps second one horn gaps these horn gaps are rarely used but to overcome the protection uh, to overcome this protection devices are nothing but lightning arrester or surge arrester so pro to protect from lightning lightning arresters or surge arresters are used these arresters uh, will bypass the high amount of voltage to the ground bypass high amount of voltage to the ground okay that's the way they are protecting the systems okay Okay friends thank you